The Shikoku is a Japanese spitz, skilled hunter, loyal companion, independent thinker and energetic partner for active people. In this video I will tell you all you need to know about the Shikoku. I would love to thank Hinata, Rumo and Juniper for letting me use their photos in this video. If you will like the breed and you would love to see more of it, definitely check them out, the links are in description. This is a medium sized, well balanced and muscular dog breed. The Shikoku totally looks like a typical Spitz with the pricked ears, curled tail and wolf like appearance. The average height is between 43 to 53 centimeters, which is 17 to 21 inches and weight is typically between 16 to 25 kilograms, which is 35 to 55 pounds. Females are a little bit smaller than males. The Shikoku's outer coat is harsh and straight and the undercoat is very dense and soft. Fur on the tail tends to be longer than on the rest of the body and the tail is very fluffy. You can find this breed in three colors, which are sesame, which is a mixture of black, red and white hair, black and tan or cream. This breed has beautiful slanted or dark brown almond shaped eyes, wedge shaped head and long muzzle with tight fitting lips. The Shikoku is both great companion dog and excellent hunter. Just like other species, this is not a dog for everyone. And it is important to know the dog's temperament before buying or adopting one. So what is Shikoku like? The Shikoku is very often described as incredibly loyal dog to its family. When they are with people they know, then the Shikoku is very friendly, affectionate, loving and devoted. And they are known for developing very strong bond with its owners. On the other hand, they do not enjoy company of people they do not know. In fact, Shikoku tends to be very cautious and alert around strangers. It's important to properly socialize your dog early so it doesn't become overprotective or scared. But do not worry, they shouldn't be aggressive without a reason. They will most likely just ignore the strangers or avoid them if possible. Just like all the hunters, the Shikoku has higher prey drive, so you should never leave them alone with small household pets like hamsters or guinea pigs. This is also a reason why you should only let them off leash in fenced or in areas you know very well, because if they start chasing something, it would be very hard to recall them. Another similarity with majority of hunting dog breeds is their high intelligence, problem solving ability, but also high independence. Thanks to their high intelligence they get new commands quickly, but because of the independent personality they are not total pushovers to train. This is not a dog for novices or first time dog owners, they need firm and patient trainer. It is recommended to train Shikoku by positive reinforcement, since they are pretty sensitive and they do not tolerate harsh training training methods. If you are an active person then the Shikoku might be a great dog for you, because they will always love to go for a walk, hike or jog, any kind of an adventure. Their energy level is just endless. If you want your Shikoku to stay healthy and happy, daily proper exercise is a must. Shikoku Ken is one of the six native Japanese breeds. The other five are Akita Inu, Shiba Inu, Hokkaido, Kishu Inu and Kai Ken. The Shikoku was developed by Japanese hunters on the island of, well, Shikoku, in the mountains of Kochi prefecture. They were used as skilled large game hunters, they most often hunted deer and boars. Originally the breed was named as Tosa Ken, but they were later renamed when people kept confusing them with the Tosa fighting dog. The dog was quite popular in Japan, but after the first world war, Japan suffered economic hardship and people simply could not afford to own and feed a dog, which was the reason why the numbers of all dog breeds in Japan declined drastically. The Shikoku almost went extinct. In 1928 an organization dedicated to save native Japanese dog breeds was established and they successfully saved the breed. Three lines of Shikoku were developed, the Hata, the Yava and the Hongawa, all named after the area they originated from. The Shikoku we know today is a descendant of the Hata and Hongawa line. 
Just look at the fake coat, of course, that the Shikoku does shed, especially heavily once or twice a year. Regular brushing will remove the dead hair, minimize the shedding and also keep the coat healthy and glossy. During the shedding season, you will have to brush your dog on daily basis. Other than that, you should regularly check the dog's ears, eyes and nails and clip them or clean them if needed. Great fact is that the Shikoku is extremely clean dog, they are cat like in this area. They also do not have strong doggy odor. The Shikoku is usually a very healthy dog breed and they are not suffering much from any hereditary illnesses. Sometimes they can suffer from hip or elbow dysplasia or allergies. The typical lifespan is 10 to 13 years. Tell me in comments what do you like the most about the Shikoku Ken and what is your experience with this dog breed. If you are new on this channel consider subscribing, turn the notifications on, check our Instagram, Facebook links are in description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.